Our story begins, as most great stories do, with love. There was a young man who, like his father before him, was a woodcutter. One day, while delivering wood for fire, he met a most beautiful maiden, the daughter of a wealthy merchant. Upon first sight, he fell desperately in love. The woodsman then stole her heart, <laughs> and secretly they made plans to marry. I have something for you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> now open them. What do you think? It's our house. It's a bit small, isn't it? This is what I'm going to build for you. For us. It's for our new life together. Once I finish this, we can get married. We'll never have to be apart. But why do we have to wait? Why can't we get married now? Your mother hates me enough already. I don't care. Father was rich and that's all she really needed. I'll do whatever it takes. Even if that means I have to chop down the entire forest one day. <laughs> I'll build us a beautiful home and make us our fortune. Your family will call me sir, and I will be a perfect gentleman. That's what my parents have picked for me. A perfect gentleman. Rich, arrogant, dashing. What are you saying? I'm not dashing? Should you wonder, then I'll be where you go. I will follow. My heart is yours now, and your That evening, the maiden's mother devised plans of her own. She wanted her only daughter to marry a man of distinction and wealth, someone befitting the family name. So she made her way deep into the forest to find the one person who could end her daughter's love affair. For a price, the wickedest witch in all the East <laughs> agreed to do her bidding and placed a curse upon the woodsman's axe. So the woodsman began building a house for his beloved unaware that his axe had been cursed. After many swings, the enchanted axe would miss its intended spot and strike the woodsman instead. The axe first found its mark in the woodsman's arm and he hurriedly went to seek help. The nearest town did not have a doctor or healer. However, on the edge of that town lived a master tenor of great skill. The craftsman could not mend the young man's wound, 
but he was able to fashion a new arm for him. One made of steel and tin. Young man, you're better than new. But you must take this wherever you are. This is your new best friend. Still work. I may even be able to do it better. You still love me. Of course. Then trust me. The next time you see me in our house will be built and we can get married. <laughs> and then we'll live happily ever after. Right? Of course. So this is the way things went, for the woodsman had no way of knowing that the axe was cursed. After many strokes, the axe would stray and injure his other arm. Then his legs. stronger, needing fewer strokes to cut down trees. With single-minded focus, he continued cutting trees until the inevitable occurred. The axe struck the last part of him that wasn't made of metal, his chest. My friend, I can't believe that you even made it here this time. Your chest, oh, it's a mess. I've done my grandest work on you, but I perceive that this, this may be beyond my ability to repair. space where the woodsman's heart had once been, hoping someday to be skilled enough to create one for him. For all of my effort, there's not more I can do. I fear that you're more metal than man already. You'll survive. I don't have the skill to build your new heart. No, you've done excellent. I'm stronger than ever. In fact, I can't even think of a use for a heart.
It was true. He was stronger than ever, but had lost what made him human. From that day forward, he would always be known as the Tin Man. As he worked, he marveled at his own efficiency. Oh, how he marveled. Before long, the Tin Man had forgotten why he was even in the woods. He'd forgotten the cat. He'd forgotten how to build. He had even forgotten his beautiful bride-to-be. He only knew how to take down the next tree, and the next, and the next. For many weeks, the woodsman's fiance waited, expecting at any moment to hear from her love. She began to worry, and when she could stand it no more, she went looking for him. you do? What's wrong with me now? You're just not the same. Does it hurt? 